assalamu alaikum bismillahir rahmanir rahim how are you friends today i am again here with a uh, tutorial video uh, about uh, excel or uh, office related videos this is a uh, series that i have created and i asked a friend uh, to create some videos for you people uh, because uh, i don't have much time uh, so he is making videos on uh, behalf of me and he is a youtuber and he is also a teacher he is a freelancer and he has a great accent also uh, so anyone can easily understand that uh, what he is saying so we are going to start and uh, uh, inshallah uh, he'll make videos about excel word uh, related uh, tutorials he'll make and i'll up upload on my channel and he is also a youtuber i told you so i'll give the link in the description so if you uh, want then you go to that link and also subscribe to that channel his name is mirza arkam beg that he is my friend a uh, uh, very old friend so also youtuber again i am saying and if you are new on my channel kindly go to subscribe and uh, uh, click on all notifications then you will uh, get all my videos updated videos about freelancing about youtube about anything that i have uploaded uh, i am uploading or i am making videos so go to the video and uh, he'll teach you about excel assalamu alaikum how are you guys hope you will be fine in the last lecture we have just covered a review about the excel the tabs that we have the icons ribbon that where we get the icons of actions and we just learned about and this launch button and just a few specific things like uh, this is worksheet and we can have multiple worksheets and uh, all the worksheets combined in a single workbook and we just uh, learned about the zoom in zoom out okay today our lecture is all about text text and implementation which we make on a text i have a one cell over here and i will write something in it now it is very common normal written something okay i clicked i just drag my mouse here and i can extend the width width of my cell uh, it is standard i can make it more bigger now you can see the width is 25 26 pix uh, 188 pixels 189 pixels okay i just registered it as it was i just clicked here and now we'll go to the font i wrote times new roman and a font size of 12 now you can see it is totally different get it it is called font we can use multiple fonts which we have already installed in our computer okay there are a large number of fonts you can use whatever you like like this one i clicked and i just go to the splash or anything and we can just use it for the font size okay this is the 24 size of a font splash splash font of the 24 size so here is my something which is written okay come to our next point something is written in just a a1 cell it is not written in b1 c1 or d1 okay it's written only in a1 it is showing in other cells okay let me make some few implementations i'll tell you that bold calic and underline i use oh, control plus b for bold control plus I for italic control plus u for underline okay, let's do it control b now it is bold 
control i i made it italic control u i made it underline i can do it to any it oh, just control i i made it make it italic now control u underline control b now just bold okay i can use same over here i press the control b now it is more bold it is already bold but it is now more bold okay i just simply press here click control i now it became more italic u it became underlined it is already italic okay we can just try on a simple font like times new roman here yeah, you can clear control b bold control i for italic control u for underline I remove bold, I remove italic, now it is just underlined, I remove underline. Okay. Next, we have borders. If I clicked all border, now it has border. You cannot see, but now you can see, because I made it with middle longer. Now it is on a normal size. Once again. okay so here i can just change the background color of my any cell change it okay i click multiple cell and i can change the color there are number of colors and the different patterns are available here i just clicked if you don't like the color or you cannot find your specific color you can go the more color and now you can make a custom color over here like green type color okay now this this is color which is not listed but you can make it okay now I'll press ctrl Z for undo let me tell you undo Control plus C. The way to is Control plus Y. Most of the time you can make a mistake and you made a mistake and you don't know that what to do. So the very simple option and very simple solution is the control Z. It works in the multiple softwares. Then when you press control Z, it will undo. And when you press control Y, it will redo it will undo the thing that you already undo press the control z now it is undoing control y now it is redoing okay okay just come to the point uh something i have select it is going in a three columns i selected three columns and just pressed merge and center now my a1 cell is now become on this b and c my a1 cell consists of b1 and c1 move it now b is existing b1 is existing c1 is also existing i pressed i've selected uh, three rows and four columns and now pressed merge and cell now look at here we are okay it merged all cells in a one cell now i just go to the align top align it will go to the top middle align it will go to the middle bottom align it will go to the bottom i'll just middle align it then left align it will go to the left center align go to the center and the right align it will go to the right okay got it you can just manage your text you can manage the alignment of your text within a big cell from here as you can see you have a multiple numbers and you can just center it and they all became in the center it applies on every cell okay from here we can change the color i just change it to the blue you can color you can just change the font color okay make it a blue now let me explain you one another thing which is the wrap text 
I am working Excel. Okay, now my text has been exceeded from a single cell. It has multiple words. It has been exceeded. When I click the wrap text, then it will merge. It will wrap the whole text within a one column. It won't disturb the width of the uh, of the column, but it will disturb and extend the height of your row. But it will cover it in a one. It will wrap the whole text in a one cell. It won't let it go to the another cell. It won't let it uh, just pass to another cell. I select it all, and as you go to the border, now you can see it all has the borders. Okay. Now this this was just a little bit a little bit a review over the alignment that most of the persons most of the people know about it that what is the text um, text manipulation text coloring text alignment okay and now just let's take a little review that what we have done today we've just learned about the font we have applied it we learned about the font size we have applied it we learned about the control b bold how to bold it and the short key we learned about the italic how to perform italic and its short key we performed underline and its short key we also learned the two more short keys control z and control y that how to undo and how to redo we have learned about the background color we have learned about the font color and we have bordered it bordered them all then we learned the uh, merge and center that we have applied on this something that it is consisting of the four column and the three rows we have merged all them and converted into the one cell and then we have learned about the wrap text and then we have learned about the text alignment top align cent middle align bottom align left align center align and the right align inshallah in the next video we will uh, learn about the cell properties the text properties and uh, some formulas some commonly used formulas in the excel until the next time allah hafiz